scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. The things you will be doing tonight, we thank you. Tell him thank you. Thank you. We thank you for Thursday. We thank you for Friday. You alone deserve our praise. We herald the presence of the Holy Spirit in this place. The one who is able to change our lives. Go ahead, lift up your voice. Let an incense of worship rise to the throne. From honest hearts who understand the language of gratitude. We give you praise. there shall be a performance from Thursday, Friday night, this morning and right now we are at the grand finale. The spirit of God is alive in this place and changing destinies. You're the Holy Ghost Spirit of the Living God I know you are the Holy Scepter of the King of Kings You're the whole Holy Ghost Seal of the age to come Tonight you're 
changing everything. That's the message tonight. You're renewing everything. says the light shines in the darkness and the darkness does not have any ability to comprehend that light 
for the entrance of thy light the entrance of thy word give it light and it gives understanding to the simple the bible says the labor of the fool weary him not because there is no road but he does not know the way to the city it says through knowledge shall the just be delivered when you are equipped with the tools your government notwithstanding brothers and sisters not the economy of nations we come and we hail from zion we are yeah. ambassadors of a government that cannot fail that's why we're taking our time to worship him tonight is the last night <laughs> get ready get ready until the spirit be poured from on high and then the wilderness will be counted for a fruitful vine and then the fruitful vine be counted for a forest <laughs> Isaiah chapter 32 verse 15 until the spirit be poured from on high listen let me tell you something everybody on earth knows that wealth is spiritual everybody everybody knows that wealth is of a spiritual origin we've been teaching on the mindset of kingdom investors yesterday i taught you on the laws of wealth and this morning we had an extensive time talking on business and investments it's time for you to receive the empowerment tonight because it's not by power the race is not to the swift and the battle is not to the strong it is not of him that will it nor of him that runneth but of the lord that showeth mercy who are thou mountain before zerubbabel tonight before zerubbabel thou shalt be made plain whenever i call you you answer me this is my confidence the Bible makes us to understand that there is something called the power to get wealth. Some versions use the ability to produce wealth. And some versions use the anointing for wealth. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost began to open my eyes to see that we live in a world that is of a spiritual origin. And so after having a knowledge of all of these laws and all of these principles, there's need for empowerment empowerment hallelujah and he called it the anointing for prosperity this is very important i like you to listen hallelujah what is the anointing let me just give a little background about the anointing the anointing is god's ability the anointing is god's energy are you following me it's his ability to do work in physics we define power as what work done per unit time that's the same definition of the anointing the ability of god that is dispensed to carry out whatever activity here on earth and the earth is governed by time and so the anointing is god's energy is god's ability that is dispensed to do work in the kingdom you cannot function without the anointing hallelujah all through scripture god called a man he would anoint that man when God called Saul, he anointed him, called David and anointed him. He says, I have called my servant Bezalel and with my holy oil have I anointed him. In Isaiah 61, he says, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. I'm, I'm sorry, now that's, that's, that's um, Acts chapter 10 verse 38. Isaiah 61 says, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me. The Bible says that therefore God, even thy God, has anointed me with the oil of gladness above my fellow. So there is something tonight called the anointing for prosperity. The anointing is God's ability. When the ability of God comes upon you, it will cause you to do the things that that anointing was designed to produce in your life. For instance, the Bible makes us to understand that the hand of God came upon Elijah. And humanly speaking, he did not have that biological configuration to run that distance and at that pace. But when the anointing of the Spirit came upon him, the Bible says he girded his loins and he ran and he overtook the chariots of ours. When the hand of the Lord came upon Samson, he was surrounded by Philistines and he found a fresh jawbone of an ass and defeated.
defeated all the Philistines. The Bible says the, 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 the rope that was tied in his hands became like flax before the fire. Hallelujah. The anointing. When the apostles were anointed, the Bible says they were so anointed that handkerchiefs and aprons were taken from their bodies. The anointing of the Holy Spirit is very, very important. That is our ability to do work in the kingdom. Hallelujah. That is the energy that is supplied to get things done. I see people struggle up and down trying to do things. You will never be able to do much without the anointing. There is a level of ease that comes with the anointing. Hallelujah. So the Lord is going to be releasing the prosperity anointing. Do you believe there is something called the prosperity anointing? Oh, don't doubt tonight. Let your faith be high. Blessed is she that believes. For unto her there shall be a performance. I gave my testimony yesterday. When during a prosperity convention like this, when I sowed my seed and I went back and I sat down, the Lord spoke to me. And he said, son, you have entered wealth. I truly believe that there was an impartation of the prosperity anointing because according to ezekiel chapter 2 verse 2 he said the spirit did enter me when he spoke to me the spirit entered into me and set me upon my feet when he did speak to me john 6 63 it is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profited nothing the words that i speak unto you they are spirit and their life and so when the lord told me you have entered wealth there was an anointing there was a radical anointing and over time i have had supernatural encounters with great ministers of god i've shared some of them in the spirit and how that many of them have laid hands to release the anointing for prosperity so there is something called an anointing for prosperity it will make you a money magnet believe it when you want to make money in the world system haven't um, applied all of these rules i hope you know that most of these investors in nigeria apart from all their hard work and everything they have some kind of spiritual affiliations how many of you can testify to that they have a lot of spiritual affiliations. They may laugh. They may do all of these things. But they pay a dear spiritual price. To sustain the anointing that will move them. Hallelujah. That's the kind of. Listen. That's the kind of anointing that is upon uh, those who do. Uh, they produce nonsense. How many of you have heard some Nigerian songs? They just sing rubbish and everybody is running to buy. They cannot even tell why they are buying it. It's something. There is an anointing. It's a corrupted anointing of Satan. But many have used it to their advantage. Hallelujah. The prosperity anointing opens you to a dimension of the spirit called anakazu. The compelling power of the spirit. Jesus speaking in the parable, he said, go and ask the people to come for the banquet. And when they went, one said he just got married and he needs to stay with his wife. The other one said he just had a built a, a, a house and he needs to. And he said, go and compel them. The Greek word there is anakazo. An irresistible, compelling power of the spirit. Investors call it money magnet. In the kingdom, we call it anakazo. Hallelujah. The Bible says, with favor shall thou compass him as with a shield. The word shield here is the same word, hook. Hook. You will compel men and compel resources to come by reason of the anointing that is upon your head. And so tonight the Lord is going to be releasing this prosperity anointing. And let me tell you, it will radically, for many of you, you will be shocked. You will not even believe it. Because after that, you will know that it's not by power, it's not by might. By reason of that anointing, Psalms chapter 1 verse 3, see, becomes a reality that whatsoever he doeth, prospers. The Lord shall command the blessing upon thy storehouse and upon all that thou settest thy hands to do. 
so god is going to be releasing the anointing for prosperity for many of you that have businesses investments churches fellowships you need the anointing to prosper i did tell us that i studied from church history that three factors cause the rapid advancement of the church how many of us remember number one love agape the unconditional love of the spirit number two the anointing number three the wealth and prosperity of the kingdom if any one of this is deficient it will impede the progress of the church hallelujah praise the lord the supernatural impartation to prosper will come upon somebody this night and it will radically transform your life the bible says that when the spirit of god came upon saul he became another man the anointing of god can make men become something else say can anything good come out of nazareth i don't want to know what the financial situation has been the lord has equipped you with the wisdom now you receive the enablement to function and to reign number two esther chapter two please turn your bible to the book of esther lord we thank you esther Where's the book of Esther? I can find it in my Bible. Esther is before what? Hallelujah. Those of you who are still looking for it, like me, it's before Revelations. Hallelujah. Just the book before Revelations. It's called Esther. <laughs> hallelujah Esther chapter 2 the Bible makes us to understand that for a very trivial reason King Ahasuerus dismissed Vashti beautiful Egyptian woman dismissed her from his palace and his empire and as the custom of the uh, selection of wives for the kings where they gathered all the virgins in the land please follow me and the Bible says that a woman called Hadassah, we call her Esther, who stayed with her uncle Mordecai, was also picked and they all went to the king's palace. Hallelujah. And the Bible tells us an interesting story. I want to show you the second kind of anointing that is going to be released in this place. Esther chapter 2. From verse 8. If you're there, say Amen so it came to pass when the king's commandment and his decree were heard and when many maidens were gathered together unto shushan the palace to the custody of Hegai, that esther was brought also unto the king's house to the custody of Hegai, keeper of the women nine and the maiden pleased him and she obtained kindness from him listen and he speedily gave her ointment for beautification take note with such things as belong to her and seven maidens who were suitable to be given her out of the king's house and he removed her and her maids unto the best place of the house of the women verse 10 esther had not revealed to her people revealed her people nor her kindred for mordecai had charged her that she should not make it known hallelujah verse 11 and mordecai walked every day before the court and the women's house to know how esther did and what should become of her 12 12 please listen now now when every maiden's turn was come to the king ahasuerus after she had been 12 months according to the regulations of the women for so were the days of their beautification accomplished listen to wait six months with what oil follow me six months with the oil of myrrh and six months with sweet odors with arms for the beautifying of the women hallelujah let's move to verse 16 so esther was taken unto king ahasuerus into his house royal in the 10th month which is the month tibeth in the seventh year of his reign 17 everybody read one to read and the king loved esther above all the women and she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins so that he set a royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of Pashti. look up 
listen there's something called the Esther anointing are you following me the Bible says many women many nice pretty virgins many ladies were gathered to the king but the Bible says this woman called Esther or Hadassah while she was there for six months she kept mingling with a type of oil are you following me there was a kind of oil that she kept applying on herself every time and the bible says by reason of that oil there was a state of beauty she had that when she passed the king only once she obtained favor with the king are you following me above all the women and the Bible says for that reason he set a royal crown on her head and made her queen instead of Ashti. Hallelujah. It says the Lord loves righteousness and hates wickedness. Therefore God, even thy God has anointed me with the oil of gladness above thy fill. There's something called the Esther anointing. The Esther anointing is the anointing that commands favor with God and favor with men. Are you following me? Very, very important. We live in a society where if you want to work for everything you will get, you will die trying. There's something called the Esther anointing. I'll give a personal testimony to the glory of God. When I made the sacrificial offering and I sat down, about um that was about three years ago for some reasons i came into abuja and the day i landed my friend took me somewhere and i met a man he just came in from israel when i met that man the moment he looked at me that man loved me even above his children for whatever reason i cannot explain he went into his room and brought bags of very valuable things and he gave to me i couldn't understand i didn't know it was the esther anointing that was operating he paid for my flight back to port Harcourt. hallelujah and about two weeks later he sent one hundred and forty thousand to my account hallelujah when i was about to go to south africa he said 0.4 million to my account i couldn't on what is this the Esther anointing. The Bible says Esther for no reason. Simply because she mingled with a kind of oil. Obtained favor with the king. Are, are you following me? There are so many people that are struggling in their lives. And what they need to break through is the Esther anointing. The Bible says and Jesus grew in wisdom. In stature. And what? In favor with God and with men hallelujah esther became queen look at chapter five please the lord will change somebody's life in a very practical way esther chapter five from verse one now this was when mordecai i mean haman was plotting against the nation of israel and esther was supposed to go to the to, to the king now according to their tradition you must understand that the king had what we call an inner chamber hallelujah and his wife or his wives as the case may be were not permitted to come into the king's inner chamber without his request do you understand the consequence for that was death they would kill you or banish you out of the kingdom and so here esther was going to approach the king and make a petition on behalf of the nation of israel are you following me now this was a dangerous situation because the king did not invite her hallelujah according to the customs if the king uh, was ready to see you he would lift a golden censer and when he lifted that censer, it was an invitation for you to come you never went to see the king without his invitation it could cost you death hallelujah so let's 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 look this was the situation esther was in and and mordecai told her go and stand in advocate for the nation of israel it was a life and death situation and that's why she said if i perish i perish because it could cost her life 
verse 1. Now it came to pass on the third day that Esther put on her royal apparel and stood in the inner court of the king's house, opposite the king's house. And the king sat upon his royal throne in the royal house, opposite the entrance of the house. Verse 2. And so it was when the king saw Esther the queen standing in the court that she obtained favor in his sight. And the king held out to Esther the golden scepter that was in his hand. So Esther drew near and touched the top of the, the scepter. Verse 3. Then said the king unto her, please listen to this statement. What will thou, Queen Esther? And what is thy request? It shall be given thee to the half of the kingdom. Look up. <laughs> when the Esther anointing is upon your life, your life will be a fearful wonder are you following me your life will be a fearful wonder if the esther anointing is upon your business if the esther anointing is upon your ministry upon your family upon your generation you will command a level of inexplainable favor the bible says thou shall arise and have mercy upon zion for the time to favor her yea the kairos time is come and so one of the things that the lord is going to be releasing in this place tonight is the esther anointing how many of you are ready for it such favor there are so many of our parents so many churches that are in a point of financial stress what we need is to have men that carry the esther anointing a compelling anointing that will grant you favor with God and with men. Favor with what? God and favor with men. The Esther anointing will grant you favor with your lecturers. It will cause, look, the king was willing to, you know, listen, Vashti, simply because she did not come and display her beauty, she was banned from the, from the palace but here is another woman who the king is promising number one she broke the rule yet the king is saying up to half of my kingdom you know what it means for a king to mortgage his kingdom for a woman she had not spoken no i hope you understand she just came the bible says when he saw her there was something about her countenance it wasn't just the beauty he had been seeing her every day it was the operation of a kind of anointing in her life that caused the king to speak and said esther what will i do for you even up to half of my kingdom that's how somebody will come to your ministry and say i i am a major partner a one million naira every day is my contribution for life the esther anointing can do for you what your labor cannot do are you following me believe what i'm saying the esther anointing can bless and beautify your life you're sitting quietly and some people are running over themselves to oversee your progress the esther anointing the bible says she obtained favor many of us have had business proposals have had several kinds of things and you've gone to several places and they've just driven you and thrown you away and done all kinds of things there are many of us that everything it looks like it doesn't work doors do not open but tonight as you encounter the Esther anointing, something will change in a practical way. The Esther anointing will cause your uncles, your loved ones, men who have forgotten you for reasons. The Bible says that one time the king sat and he could not sleep. And he said, bring me the book of remembrance. Bring it to me. Bring the book of remembrance. And he said, come. They looked at the book of remembrance and found out that there was something Mordecai had done and was not rewarded. He said, what did they do to this man? When the chronicles of remembrance is open for you, men will begin to look for you and say, remember when we were in 100 level, you did something. Blessed is she that believes. For unto her there shall be a performance. Blessed is she that believes. No rich man was born rich. Hear me. You will not work for every one naira. There is something called the Esther anointing. It's that factor that puts us ahead in life. Hallelujah. We have testimonies of people Nigerians, you understand whether you're a preacher or whatever as long as you are a nigerian they just have this but these people were so accommodative they blessed me and did every kind of thing paid bills i did it i barely spent money for anything 
and at a point they looked and the woman said what is it about listen it's not about the color of your skin it's not about how your face looks when that mantle of glory comes upon you it is able to make men men do not just come people are not idiots are you hearing me men don't just come and favor you because you think you can speak english it's not about oratory it's not about any of these things it's about the operation of the anointing when the esther anointing is upon you if you live in a hut that hut will become a palace the nations will run to that hut I see people say all kinds of things they say oh, my church is not expanding because it's, it's, it's found in one location that's nonsense that's rubbish I don't believe that that's nonsense when the Esther anointing is upon you in living faith for instance people leave from other states in the morning and go for service there and go back you think they are idiots human beings are intelligent but when the anointing of God comes upon your life men will look at you and say what kind of thing is this what kind of thing is this and in this kingdom what summit tonight the Lord is going to be releasing these two kinds of anointings let me tell you it will set you up many of you have been crying God capital capital watch what the Esther anointing will do in your life after tonight the Lord will open doors that you will be embarrassed I mean doors that you cannot explain humanly speaking there is no way you would have got no way there's no practical way but somebody will rise up somebody you do not know will pay for your bills somebody will settle your debt that you do not know and count it a privilege the Esther anointing I believe in it I have experienced it <laughs> they asked the people one time and they said why do you preach prosperity he said I don't preach prosperity I witnessed it hallelujah believe me there's something called the Esther anointing how many of you believe it and so two kinds of anointings the Lord is going to be releasing and then the Lord told me something let me read it God gave me a prophetic word on Thursday the 22nd by 12 11 p.m. The Lord told me something. He said, on the third day, open up the east gate. Hallelujah. The Lord told me, on the third day, open up the east gate. And I started wondering, I said, my God, what is, what is the relationship? What is east, east gate? And then I began to remember, the Bible says, Job was the richest man from the east. The Spirit of God told me, on the third day, open up the east gate. And I said, Lord, you've got to show me this revelation. Let me show you what he told me. Ah, I hope you are in for something wonderful tonight. Praise God. <clears throat> Ezekiel 43. Let me show you something profound in scripture. The Lord is birthing millionaires in this place tonight. Real millionaires. This is not just some jamboree to excite you. It will happen. It will happen. It's not by power. It's not by might. Ezekiel 43. Ezekiel 43 are you there Ezekiel 43 say amen. amen verse 1 let's read together one to go afterwards he brought me to the gate even the gate that looked towards the east verse 2 and behold the glory of the God of Israel came from the way of the east and his voice was like the noise of many waters and the earth shined in his glory stop he told me on the third gate, open up the east gate open up the east gate that the glory that brings the wealth of the kingdom open up the east gate when God told me this I didn't even know there was this scripture in the Bible and then the Holy Spirit led me to that scripture and I said the east gate the Bible says when Jesus was born the wise men came from the east Job was the richest man in the east Queen Sheba came all the way from the east and you know that the Middle East today is associated with wealth and prosperity tonight the east gate will be opened 
over somebody's life and over somebody's destiny the east gate will be opened that's the instruction the lord gave me get set for what god is going to be doing this is not just to excite you but if you will believe like i did some years ago it will change your life i don't care what the status is whether you are zero broke i don't want to know whether your dad is alive mom is alive it's not a disadvantage if the lord releases his anointing upon you and opens up the east gate the bible says that the voice of the lord came from the east and the bible says the voice of god in the midst of the lord in the midst of his people is mighty the voice of god is mighty upon the waters hallelujah open up the east gate open up the east gate that's what we are going to be doing we are going to be taking all of these prayer requests hallelujah very shortly and we're going to be praying and we'll allow the presence of God to mantle us with an anointing you will leave this place another man many of you it will be an instant miracle right in this venue God is going to be instructing men to bless you to sow to find out your business plan and finance it listen believe it blessed is she that believes for unto her there shall be a performance the problem with believers is that we are unbelieving Christians Whenever we hear the word, we become so scientific about it. Hallelujah. The Lord is changing somebody's story tonight. Are you ready for that? Jump up on your feet. See, <laughs> Saviors shall come out of Zion. Go ahead and pray until the time has come. There's no excuse tonight. The Spirit of God is in this place. You can change. Change is coming tonight. You will encounter an anointing tonight that will set you for prosperity. You will dominate poverty from your life forever. Not by might, not by power, by the Spirit.
to do something now. You are in for a surprise tonight with the Holy Ghost. You, none of you will walk out here poor. You are in for a surprise such as I have tonight. I give it freely. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to do an impartation right now. Get set for the atmosphere of God's spirit. There will be a release. Hallelujah. I want to start with my friends. Please just come out my friends. Let me start with you people. Such as I have tonight, if I be a servant of God, if I be a servant of God, drink of the oil of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus, if I be a servant of God, I pray that that which I have, let it be given. In the name of Jesus, let it be given by the Spirit of God. Let it be given by the Spirit of God. Let it be given by the Spirit of God. Let it be given by the Spirit of God. Let it be given by the Spirit of God. Let it be given by the Spirit. Let it be given only by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus, let it be given by the Spirit. Lord, anoint my brothers. Anoint my brothers. Anoint everyone. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, worshipers, hold your hands. Hold your hands, all of you. Just hold your hands. You will walk in this anointing. Go ahead and clash the cymbal. Let the wind blow upon you right now. From the north to the south. All over. Right now. In the name of Jesus. The power of the Holy Ghost. Upon everyone. All through the building. Lift your hands. I release the anointing. Take it now. 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 All over the building. Take it now, in the name of Jesus. Take it now, take it now. Take it now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Take it now. Yes, Lord, All of you at the back, take it now, in the name of Jesus. Take it now, in the name of Jesus. Ben, come, come. Lift your hands, lift your hands. In the name of Jesus, walk in new height. Take it now. In the name of Jesus. Shut up, Okosa. Rekete Baya. Popra Tekete. Rekoto Bekene Maka. Oh, let it be released. Let it be released. All over the building. Such as I have. Give I unto you tonight. In the name of Jesus. Let the anointing to prosper. Come upon you. Let the anointing to prosper mantle you. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Be drunk in it. Be drunk in it. Be drunk in it. Receive it. Sheka Tabaya. Rekoto Patanaba. Parokoto Balinaba. this building. Receive it. I release the Esther anointing. Receive it. Receive it. Favor with God. Favor with man. Every closed door. Be open. Be open. Be open. Be open. Be open. Now. Now. Be open. Every closed door. Be open. Every closed door be opened by the power of the Holy Ghost. Not by power, not by might. Be open. Rate kotora, rakete ponovaba, rapento sopaya. Be open. Receive the Esther anointing. Favor with God. Favor with men. Supernatural financiers by the Spirit, by the Spirit, by the Spirit. Draw it for your life. Please draw it. 
by faith. Receive by faith. Receive by faith. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. No, no poverty. Receive it. I cause it from your lineage. I cause it from your land. I cause it from your ministry. from Africa, from Nigeria, from this campus. Oh, receive it. Receive it by the Holy Ghost. Go and prosper. Go and succeed where you have failed. Go and prosper. Go again. Start again. Whatsoever you do will prosper. Go with the anointing. Go with the anointing. Go with the fire. The fire of the spirit. Go with it. Take it to your businesses. Take it to your offices. Take it to your workplaces. Let God be true and let every man be a liar. Let God be true and let the government be a liar. Let God alone be true.
listen listen the Lord told me something in the afternoon he said every prayer request that is represented in this place will come face to face with the anointing I don't care what it is that you've written here listen I don't care what it is that you've written here I see the prayer request of a lady right now your I, I think you have there's two weeks two weeks and they'll drive your parents out of the house you are staying two weeks and they'll drive you're going to receive the Lord says four days four days from today you will receive a supernatural your parents now please if you are that person call them and find out there are two people that between now and 12 o'clock tomorrow you're going to receive a call a call from your uncle please don't just shout it's not everybody don't try to raise your hand everybody two people the word is for two people hallelujah praise God I want to invite all the ministers let's travail in the spirit upon this prayer request the servant of God in this place please come up please as the servants of God travail I want the worship to go on while everybody connects no prayer request will be void of answer tonight go ahead and go travail in the spirit Lord, we cry. Go ahead and pray. Release miracles, financial miracles, in the name of Jesus. By the unity of faith, we cry. We cry. We cry. We cry. We cry in the name of Jesus. Supernatural death cancellation. Supernatural death cancellation. Come on, pray, ministers. Let's travel in unity of faith. of the Lord everywhere moving helter skelter bringing rapid responses that's what I saw in my spirit rapid instant miracles that's what I saw the angels do. hallelujah pastor please as pastor Pete Rock prays please all the ministers let's hold hands together this is not church whatever church we are breaking all these useless barriers of denomination as we join faith come on everybody connect hold somebody's hands by the unity of faith all over this building pastor is going to be leading us and with one voice we are going to be saying lord arise arise we are tired of poverty in our families arise In the name of Jesus, angelic ministrations. In the name of Jesus, from the back. In the name of Jesus, from the back. In the name of Jesus, I break every curse. I break every limitation. I break every barrier. I break every hurdle. In the Jesus, a release in the heavens. We open this gate this night. The brand that 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 that
Hallelujah. Now, please listen to me. Listen to me. The last thing the Lord will be doing, that's why we took time to explain the motto and the aim. The Lord is going to be separating some people right now to the ministry of kingdom financing. Are you following me? The Lord is going to be just in the next one minute. I had wanted asking you to come out. But the Lord, hear me. The Lord is going to be bringing you out by himself. Hallelujah. Just in the next one minute. There are certain people. And, 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 and please, as they go under the anointing, please bring them out. And we pray. God is separating men to the ministry of kingdom finance. Please clash the symbol. Lord, let it be. According to your word, separate men all over this building. Let the kingdom financiers come. Come out. Come out. Come out. Bring them out. Come out. Holy Spirit, bring them out. Come out by the Spirit. Come out. Come out. Bring them out, Holy Ghost. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. All of them, bring them out. Separate men. Bring them. Let none stay. Let the hand of God bring you out. Ushers, help them. Ushers, please come and help them. So we don't have a catastrophic situation here. Bring them. Come out by the Spirit. Come out by the hand of the Lord. Come out by the hand of the Lord. Come out by the hand of Joshua. Joshua Hamashiach. Bring them out by the mighty hand of your spirit. Bring them out by your spirit. Bring them out by the spirit of the Lord. Ushers, help them. We need ushers everywhere. Bring them out. Lord, let not one remain. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out by the Spirit. Come out by the Spirit. Listen. The Lord Himself is separating you to a ministry of kingdom wealth and financing. You were not called up, He brought you out by Himself. Please listen. The wealth, listen, hear me. The wealth that the Lord is going to be committing to your hands is not just for your personal gratification. That's why we thought, do not be a cause to the church because you become rich. For many of you from this night, the miracles that the Lord will be doing in your life will amaze you. But when it happens, thou shalt remember the Lord thy God. Don't let money enter your head and turn you and bring you to a point where you lose out your faith and you lose out your diligence. We are going to sing this song, King of My Life, all over this building as a sign of our allegiance that everything we have belongs to Him. You will soon be out of this place. This is the grand finale. King of My Life you are my own, and I live for you alone. King of my life, you have my all, and I lay my life for you. For 
brought them out by your spirit and by yourself. You have separated them tonight for the ministry of wealth and prosperity. No man has done this. You have done it only by your spirit. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank 